Welcome to math we know. Solve the x from this equation. 2 to the power x, then plus 2 to the power 3x is equal to 10. How should we do it? For dealing with this equation, pay attention. Because 2 to the power 3x is the third power of 2 to the power x. So our first work is we let. We let y is equal to 2 to the power x because 2 to the power 3x is just y to the power 3. Now, this equation, it changes a lot, isn't it? It becomes y then plus y to the power 3 is equal to 10. And then, uh, I move the 10 from the right hand side to the left hand side and I change the order of y and y to the power 3. Let it be a normal equation. y to the power 3 then plus y and then minus 10 is 0. We have to solve this equation. Hmm. The largest exponent is 3. It is not so good, is it? We should factor it. Factoring the left hand side. How should we factor it? From this plus y. This plus y, it can be written as minus 4y and then plus 5y and then minus 10. And then y to the power 3, then minus 4y, and we take out y from these two terms. And y to the power 2, then minus 4, left in the bracket. And then plus, we take out a 5 from these two terms, and it left y minus 2 in the bracket. Then, pay attention, because y to the power 2, then the minus 4, it can be continued factored. So this is, use the third binomial formula, y plus 2, and then times y minus 2, and then plus y t uh, 5 times y minus 2, 0 y minus 2, y minus 2, and we can take it out. So it becomes y minus 2 and then times. What's in the bracket now? y then times y is y squared plus 2y and then min plus 5 is equal to 0. So this equation, it is factored. Now we just solve the y from this equation and then we can solve the value of x. There are two cases, the first case and the second case. For the first case, y the minus 2 is 0. y is 2. And we can get the value of x. 2 to the power x is 2, so x is 1. And the second case, that is y squared and then plus 2y and then plus 5 is equal to 0. Because delta is equal to b squared then minus 4 times a times c. It is 2 squared then minus 4 then times 1 times 5. It is 4 then minus 20. It is minus negative 16. It is smaller than zero. It is negative. So, delta is negative. Then there aren't any real roots. So we have only one real root. That is x is equal to one. Did you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe me, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.